Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, let's consider subscribing. So as you saw by the title, today's video is going to be a small Montau haul and uh, review of a few fragrances. Yeah, you might be very surprised if you watched my fragrance house tag, you might be asking yourself, but Montal, didn't you say that you really don't like the design of the bottles and that's why you're not purchasing anything from that brand? And yes, you're correct. I still stand by my opinion that I don't like the clickety hairspray kind of Montal bottles, but there's so many interesting popular fragrances in this house and that I wanted to sample and I didn't want to limit my experiences just because I didn't like bottle designs. So I decided to kind of compromise and I ordered small 20 ml um, bottles from Montel's website allowing me to sample several, several fragrances and also hoping that I would like those bottles more than I like large bottles. So uh, let's see what I purchased. Um, just before we go into that, I just want to say um, a little something about customer service. Um, as you know, I'm located in Canada and Montal's warehouse is in US and Considering the world we live in these days, I completely understand and expect that when I order something, especially from another country, it will take a long time to process, ship, deliver. I'm completely prepared for that and I don't mind waiting. And in fact, this package took a long time to arrive and that's perfectly okay. And I don't wanna complain here about all of this and I don't wanna go into details, but I have to say this wasn't the best customer service experience. Um, I've had to communicate with them several times about several issues or several questions and they were extremely unresponsive. Uh, they would either not respond for a very long time or not provide answers that I had for them. So just in general, beware, that was my experience, might not be your experience with them, but just sharing it with you because it was my first time ordering from Montal's official website. Okay, now, now let's go to the good stuff. So what did I order? As I said, I ordered um, three small 20 ml bottles. So first let me show you how they came. I think that's how they, they have an option that, that where they provide you with a set of three bottles and you can totally choose whatever scents you prefer. So this is how the package came. We have a box. Okay, let me open it. Okay, so here inside, I'm gonna try not to spill it out. You see there is a card and I think it gives you 15% off from your future purchase. Then you have these three typical Montal bags that if you wanna store your fragrances in them, you can. And here are the three bottles. So you can see that all three bottles have the same color, they're golden color. The only difference is here in the label. So right away I can tell you that I like this so much more than all these uh, bright different colored bottles that um, that happened with the big bottles. Uh, so this is already better. Now let's take one of them out just to take a look. I mean, it's kind of cute. It's very small. Do I love it? No, I still don't love it. It's, I think it's this turning clickety thing that annoys me more than anything. Uh, but it is definitely um, sort of a lot more acceptable than um, the large bottles. Okay, now, what fragrances did I choose? <clears throat> Here comes another surprise, I think, for those that uh, have watched some of my videos. The first one that I chose was Oud Amazing. And in fact, this was the fragrance that kind of um, started this whole order. 
So I received um, samples in some kind of subscription box, I can't even remember what, and without reading what these samples, samples were, I just sprayed one of them and started smelling it, and I thought, wow, what is this? This is something very interesting, a little bit different, I really, really like it. And then I read what it was, and it turned out, A, it was Montal, and two, it was Oud as As you can imagine by the title, it has Oud in it, and I have never found an Oud fragrance that I liked, but I really, really liked this one. Liked it enough to purchase an actual bottle. So, what is this fragrance about? Well, first of all, it's from 2016, and the notes in it are, top notes are Sicilian orange, Sicilian bergamot, oud, pear, and fig. Middle notes are Egyptian jasmine, patchouli, and orris. And base notes are Madagascar vanilla, leather, white musk, and grapes. Okay, so let's spray it. <laughs> to remind me what it smells like. It is very soft and sweet, fruity oud. It is very beginner-friendly oud. It is kind of reserved and balanced. It is oud, very well balanced with sweetness. And sweetness in this is not cloying. Um, it is kind of, it, it is kind of reminiscent to me of sweetness in La Via Belle, but not as strong and a lot more refined. In general, I, I find this to be a more refined and sophisticated offering from Montal. I mean, most of their fragrances are very much in your face, strong type of fragrances. And this, um, you know, if I didn't know that it was Montal, I don't think I would recognize the house. So the name Oud Amazing, I mean, is it Amazing Oud? Yeah, I think it is for me. This is the very first Oud type of fragrance in my collection and I really, really like it. Now, I, I will not wear it in the summer. This is more a cold weather type of scent, but I will definitely be wearing when it gets colder. Um, the lasting power is amazing. I've worn the sample that I received originally and lasts forever. In general, I think this is a very unisex type of fragrance because the sweetness is not too much in your face. So both genders can wear this one. So there you go, Montal and Oud. Who would have thought? Okay, let's look at the second one. Second one is Sweet Peony. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this one. And this was not a blind buy as well. I had a sample of this one and um, I liked it very much and that's why I decided to order a bottle. So this came out in 2017 and base notes are Peony. Well, it's just Peony in a base. Then in the middle we have Jasmine, Rose, peach uh, and coconut and in the base we have coffee, clove, sandalwood and vanilla. Uh, although all of Mental's fragrances I think are marketed as unisex, I think that this one definitely leans more feminine. I can't see a guy wearing it but as I always say, wear what you like. So let's spray it. This is powerful. This is in your face type of Montal, your typical, typical Montal. It's very sweet, 
floral vanilla. You get kind of a candied peony in it. I don't really hear a lot of peach or coconut. I've worn this once before and I think coffee comes out somewhere in the middle, but it's not very pronounced. Yeah, this is very, very sweet. You have to like really sweet. There's slight touch of powderiness in this one, I think, or it really has that kind of um, candy kind of nature, but it's a uh, candied flowers more than anything candied peony, really. This is very fun fragrance, very fun. You, you have to be in the mood to wear this one. I don't think I can wear it just any day. This is not an easy reach uh, at all, but this is beautiful and really, really girly and fun. So I really like this one. Now, uh, the third one that I purchased was a blind buy. So because I mentioned that they, they sell these um, sets in three, I really didn't know what my third choice should be. I didn't have any other samples that I've tried that I liked. So, okay, I'm gonna, I chose something blindly. I just looked at the notes and the notes looked very, very promising. So I decided to choose Candy Rose. So Candy Rose came out in 2012 and the top notes here are blackcurrant, raspberry, lychee, mandarin, um, and orange. Middle notes are rose, patchouli, jasmine, and lily of the valley. And base notes are white mask, vanilla, and orange blossom. Okay, let's spray. So when I read the reviews for this, they said that this is supposed to be very sweet candy rose, which the notes seem to support as well. It, the reviews also said that this is not your typical type of Montel sense, which I thought great. That means it's gonna be more reserved, not so much in your face. And that this was kind of a fruity patchouli. So what do I think about it? Do I agree with the reviews? Yes and no. I agree that this is uh, not your typical Montel. This is definitely more reserved. It's not so much in your face. This could be an everyday scent. Do I smell patchouli? Yes. But where is the sweet candy rose <laughs> that I was promised? It is not there at all. There's barely any sweetness to this fragrance. There is barely any rose to this fragrance and there is definitely no candy here. So to me, the notes and what I smell do not correspond at all. And I also <clears throat> don't agree with the reviews. This is very soapy to me. Like this smells like some kind of shampoo. Uh, that's what I get. Uh, Besides patchouli, it's really even difficult to detect any other notes. It is, yeah, there's no sweetness. In general, I just find this scent very ordinary and unimaginative, uninspiring. Uh, is it repulsive? No, but it's also not interesting. Is it something I'm gonna reach for? At this point, I have to say no. Now. To be fair, <clears throat> I haven't given this fragrance a chance yet. I haven't, I just smelled it on a test strip. I haven't uh, sprayed it on myself. I haven't tried it, haven't worn it. So I might change my mind. And if I do, I'm definitely going to update you in a future video. But for now, I would say that Candy Rose was a miss, but the other two, Wood Amazing and Sweet Peony are wonderful and I think I'm definitely going to enjoy wearing them. So that's it. That's the end of my small Montal haul and review. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have requests for any 
future videos, uh, please leave them down below. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!